The Princess of Wales is presently recuperating as she pauses her royal responsibilities after undergoing abdominal surgery. She is anticipated to be on a hiatus until at least Easter while recovering from the surgery, which was performed at the London Clinic. As a result of her absence, she will be unable to attend several significant royal occasions, such as the BAFTAs and the Commonwealth Day service. Nevertheless, there is optimism that she will return in June for one of the most important royal events of the year, Trooping the Color, where she traditionally rides in an elegant horse-drawn carriage. Since becoming a member of the royal family, Kate has always cherished this regal mode of transportation, which takes her from Buckingham Palace to Horse Guards Parade and back as part of the Sovereign's Birthday Parade. During the 2019 occasion, Royal enthusiasts expressed worry when reports emerged that she had experienced discomfort following the customary carriage procession. Kate occupied a carriage with Queen Camilla, who was then known as the Duchess of Cornwall, as well as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, during their transportation to and from the military event. Observers questioned the reason behind her occasional paleness and departure from her typically cheerful demeanor. Nonetheless, according to the Mirror's report, it was the carriage journey itself that caused Kate to feel slightly nauseous due to the swaying motion. Interestingly, even the late Queen experienced seasickness despite her extensive time aboard the Royal Yacht Britannia for over four decades, and she even suggested her preferred medication to Kate. A source from the Royal Circle stated, The reality is that the Duchess of Cambridge is prone to severe seasickness and does not find the rocking motion of carriages enjoyable. The fear of falling ill during such a significant event, like trooping the color, only added to her anxiety. Under the close supervision of royal physicians, Kate will receive attentive care from the London Clinic, which includes specialized physiotherapists who will provide a personalized plan for her recovery. Additionally, she will have the option of a video consultation with a nurse specialist in the comfort of her own home. Residing in Adelaide Cottage, situated in Windsor's home park, the family receives assistance from their dedicated staff, including their loyal and long-standing nanny, Maria Teresa Turian Barallo. Additionally, Kate's parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, as well as her siblings, Pippa Matthews and James Middleton, are anticipated to take an active role in supporting the Waleses during the upcoming months as the princess undergoes her recovery. The specific details of the princess's condition have not been disclosed, but the palace previously stated that it is unrelated to cancer, and Kate has expressed her desire to keep her personal medical information private. However, it has been confirmed that she will not be engaging in any public royal duties until after Easter, using the next two to three months to concentrate on her recovery from the surgery. In this article, we will explore what lies ahead on Kate's path to healing. It is important to note that Kate's departure from the hospital does not signify the end of her medical care. She will continue to receive attentive care from the Royal Medical Team and benefit from the London Clinic's post-operative support. This includes access to dedicated physiotherapists who will provide a personalized recovery plan, as well as the option of a video checkup at home with a nurse specialist. According to guidance from the NHS regarding post-operative recovery from abdominal surgery, it typically takes two to three months to regain comfortable mobility following a major operation involving a large incision. However, the recovery period may be shorter if the procedure was performed using keyhole surgery techniques. Individuals who undergo significant abdominal surgery are advised to refrain from lifting objects weighing more than the equivalent of a full kettle, which is approximately 4.4 pounds, 6.6 pounds, 2 kg 3 kg. Additionally, it may take up to two years for the abdominal wall to regain its previous strength. To rebuild strength, it is recommended to engage in seated and standing exercises, gradually increasing the duration of daily walks to achieve a target of 30 minutes within two to three months. Certainly due to Kate's recovery period, all of her scheduled engagements for the upcoming months have been postponed. The timing of her return to official duties will be contingent upon medical advice as the date approaches. 
Prince William, the heir to the throne, has temporarily suspended his official responsibilities as he has been by his wife's side during this time. However, once the princess's well-being and recuperation have stabilized, the Prince of Wales intends to resume his public engagements. According to a source close to the royal family, the Waleses have prioritized their family above all else, with a strong focus on family first, day job second. In the upcoming weeks, the princess will be unable to attend various engagements, including the BAFTAs in February, the annual Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, the St. David's Day Parade at the beginning of March, and the St. Patrick's Day Parade with the military later in the same month. Furthermore, any official overseas tours planned for William and Kate are currently on hold. Nonetheless, aides affirm that although the princess will remain out of the public eye for the next few months, she is expected to be involved in behind-the-scenes work. According to a source quoted in the newspaper, her dedication to early childhood development is evident, and there will be a significant continuation of her campaign in that area. She is eager to resume engaging in meaningful conversations with the nation, and will strive to do so as soon as circumstances permit. In more recent times, Kate's children were not observed visiting her at the London Clinic. However, there is a possibility that they were discreetly brought in and out of the facility without being noticed by the media. Despite the presence of photographers stationed outside, Kate's departure from the hospital was not captured by them. Interestingly, they seem to have documented William leaving the hospital after visiting Kate but there is no evidence of them capturing his arrival. Once Kate's recovery progresses, it is expected that both she and her husband will resume their joint royal duties as soon as possible, as they genuinely find joy in such engagements. They will likely be eager to return to their regular routine. Rather than relying on an extensive support team, it is anticipated that her husband will play a significant role in assisting her in the recovery process and helping her regain her strength.